So you might have turned your Fire TV device on recently and been confronted with this notice and just literally accepted it and thought, what the hell was all that about? Well, this guide shows you how you can get that notice back up and make an informed choice. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, you turned on your Fire TV stick, your Fire TV cube or your Fire TV and suddenly this notice popped up. You thought to yourself, I don't want to waste my time reading all that. Just hit the middle button and it accepted everything and it took you back to the home screen as normal. You carried on about your day and then suddenly you thought to yourself, oh God, what was all that about? Maybe I should have read that before I actually accepted it. Well, this guide is going to show you how you can get that notice back up on your screen so you can read and make an informed choice of whether or not you should accept or decline that notice. So all you need to do is just go across to the settings cog and then go down and across to preferences, middle button, go down to privacy settings, middle button, and hopefully there you should see a cookie consent there. If you don't see it, then come out of it and just try going back into privacy settings. If it still doesn't appear after two or three times of doing that, then perhaps restart your device by pressing and holding both the play pause button and the middle button on the remote control down together until you see this notification saying that your device is powering off. Let your Fire TV, your Fire TV stick or your cube reboot and then we're going to go and have a look at that again and see if those details are now there. So just wait for it to reboot. Let the menu come back up as you normally would. And once it's come back up, let's go right across to the settings cog just over there and then down across to preferences, middle button, and then go into privacy settings, middle button. And there you go. Hopefully cookie consent should be there. If it's still not there, back button on the remote control, back button again, and then go across and down to my Fire TV go into about and then down to check for updates, middle button. And if there's any updates, let them download and then hit install now. Once they've installed, back button, back button again, go up and across to preferences, middle button and go down to privacy settings, middle button. If it's still not there, then reboot your stick again by holding down the play pause button and the middle button. Go back in to check and see if there's any more updates. OK, once you see the cookie consent notice, middle button on the remote control and there you go. The same notification will come up, which says how we use cookies on your Fire TV. We use cookies, device identifiers and similar tools, cookies, to provide and improve your experience on Fire TV. If you accept, we will also use cookies to enhance your advertising experience on this Fire TV device. This includes showing you more relevant ads and reducing ad repetition. It also allows third parties to display and measure personalised ads, generate audience insights and develop and improve products. If you decline, the ads you see may be more repetitive and less relevant to you. This setting will not affect the use of cookies by third party apps or other Amazon services on Fire TV, such as Prime Video. You can withdraw your consent at any time by visiting settings, then preferences, then privacy settings. Visit amazon.co.uk forward slash device privacy to make more detailed choices. So if you want to check that, just press the three horizontal lines on your remote control and then middle button again. And there you can see Amazon's privacy notice. There's quite a bit to uh, digest there. So if you want to have a look, feel free to have a look through it. But if you want to go back and make a choice, then you can either select accept or decline. If you do accept, you're basically allowing Amazon to pass on information to advertisers about the type of adverts that you want on your devices based on how you use the device, what apps you use, what programs you view, etc, etc, so that they can put advertising on the screen that they feel is more relevant to you and is going to generate them more income or possible income at the end of the day. If you're not happy with this, then obviously you've got the right to decline, but you will see ads that are less relevant to you and you might see more ads time and time again that are repeat ads. So I'm going to choose decline here and Whilst I'm in here in the privacy settings, 
we can perhaps turn off device usage data just by highlighting that middle button and then middle button again. Turn off collect app usage data by pressing the middle button, middle button again, and turn off interest based ads by pressing the middle button and middle button again. And there you go, all of those are switched off. And that basically means that you're not passing any details to Amazon about your viewing habits. Obviously, individual apps on your Fire TV stick, Cube, or TV will have different privacy preferences and may still pass on some of your information. But you will need to check with the individual apps to see what information, if any, is being passed on. So there you go. I hope this guide was helpful. And if it was, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos right here covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.